Good morning. This is Remax Realtor Wes Garrison of the Garrison Brothers here at Remax Town and Country. I just wanted to do a quick video based on a couple of questions that I've had, a couple of conversations that I've had this week with some buyers as we're moving towards uh, uh, closing on a contract and also some new buyers as they're looking at homes and they're trying to get a feel for you know, what exactly do they need as far as money in order as far as down payments and things like that in order to purchase a house? And there's a common question people ask, like closing costs, what are closing costs? And it can be a very confusing thing. Um, so this video is just a quick overview for buyers closing costs, what they can expect to pay. It's just it's not meant to be a comprehensive, in-depth, detailed video, just a quick video to kind of give you an understanding. Traditionally, and this is just this is just a, a number. Usually, uh, closing costs can be anywhere from six to seven thousand uh, dollars. You have to buy. You have to pay for that at the time of closing. And there are a couple costs up front, even before you close, that you that you need to do. Uh, some of those things are for like homeowners insurance, uh, origination fees, application fees, uh, credit report fees. Uh, all types of things that go into the purchase of a house that you absolutely need to pay for. Uh, and the, even up front, you have two specific fees. You have your inspection fee and your appraisal fee. Um, of course, you always want to get your house inspected uh, to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. And you have a, a, a very brief period of time to do that, uh, to decide whether or not you want to move forward. And once you find out that the house is is good. Usually you'll pay about anywhere from 250 to 350 for an inspection fee, usually on the higher end of that if you want a good inspector because you do get what you pay for. Um, after you move forward from that, you have what's called an appraisal fee because now that it's inspected, you see that the house is good, um, you're going to want to pay for an appraisal to make sure it's actually as valuable as the seller as the seller says that it is. So you don't want to pay too much for a house. And usually that's a little bit more expensive. Appraisal fees, depending on the home, they, there's a big range in there. They can be anywhere from $450 all the way up to $700, uh, depending on how complicated the appraisal is, the area that's located, and things like that. But these are all fees that you, as the buyer, have to pay up front. And like I said, a good number is is probably about anywhere between I five to seven or six to seven thousand. And you've got to add that on top of whatever your down payment is going to be, whether it's a five percent FHA or uh, a 10, 15, or 20 percent uh, conventional loan down payment. Um, you're going to need to pay that. You're going to need to pay that. And nobody can get out of it. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, depending on the market, whether it's a buyer's market or a seller's market, if it's a buyer's market, sometimes you can ask for the seller to pay the buyer's closing costs. Sometimes that works, uh, especially if there's a huge inventory and it is definitely a buyer's market and, and sellers are really desperate to sell. Sometimes they'll do that and they'll just roll that in into the whole transaction. It'll save a little bit of money. But here in Orlando right now, it is definitely a seller's market, and that is not a good strategy uh, in order if you really want to, you know, if you really are in love with the house and really want to buy it and putting in an offer, asking the buyer or the seller to, to pay your closing costs is not a good strategy. Um, so I hope the, the video is informative. Uh, if you need any help purchasing, buying, or selling real estate here in Central Florida, uh, my brother and I, Scott Garrison, the Garrison Brothers, uh, we have over 45 years combined experience doing this. We love what we do. Uh, we're a great team. You get two for one. Uh, we can definitely help you with all your real estate needs here in Central Florida as far as buying or selling houses. I'd love to hear from you. Take care.